In this episode of The Pressures of a Student Athlete, we interviewed a former Cal women's soccer player who shared her story with us that her eating disorder was triggered by athletic pressures. Did the pressure to fit an athletic body type standard lead you to change your eating habits? I would say yeah, I feel like people look at you a certain way and there is pressure to maintain a certain body type. And then um, my freshman year of high school, I suffered, I tore my ACL and CL meniscus, so I knew I was going to be out for a while and I had a lot of pressure and I was like depressed about that for a while. And I would get like, just like jokes about from like my friends and family, like, oh, you're not playing anymore, like, ha you're going to gain weight and stuff. And like, that kind of got to my head and that's what led me to, I started like eating less, a lot less, and then eventually like sometimes I would eat a lot and then I would feel so guilty about it and eventually it led me into bulimia. How did this affect both your mental and physical state? Yeah, I would say it definitely affected both. My mental state, there would be times where I wouldn't want to do it and I would just like, I would just like sit there and like cry like by the toilet or whatever and like it really like depressed me a lot and then along with not being able to play soccer. And then for my physical state, I definitely felt weaker a lot of the times. And then even when I did come back to playing soccer, my bulimia didn't just go away. Did you reach out for help or did somebody else take notice? I remember I was like laying in bed, it was in the morning, I was still like half asleep. And my mom came into my room and went to my bathroom and I could hear her like moving around things. But I didn't know what she was doing and eventually I got out of bed to go to the bathroom. And I walked into the bathroom and like she posted, she printed out all these papers with like information and pictures and like posted them all over my toilet and like just like the mirror and like how it affects your body and stuff. And I just started like bawling crying. I went to her room and she was bawling crying and like seeing my mom just like so sad about it and she just like felt like she like failed as a parent because of it. It just made me feel like, okay, now I really need to like stop this because it's affecting like my loved ones. Do you have any advice for anyone that is in the position you were once in? Honestly, like, it seems like a good idea to like, oh, not eat or throw it up, but in the long run, or like even at the time, like I wasn't really losing weight from doing it. Like if anything, it hurt my metabolism, it like, slowed my metabolism down even more. And I think that was an important like realization that like, to see food differently, like as more like fuel and like your body needs those nutrients and it needs that and like eating what right to like speed up your metabolism and like fuel your body is like way more effective way than not eating or throwing up. Join us next week for the final episode. You're not alone.